so for today's video um nothing too crazy but i just want to tackle a few like basic stuff um with breakdance and specifically i just want to tackle building headers because recently there's been like a little friction <laughs> about not being uh about not about there not being um enough basic um probably tutorials on like basic stuff like headers so I'm going to tackle um, header building and then we we'll try and also make sure that it is responsive on all screens. So what I'm going to do is I did find a header and um, I did find a header on dribble. We're going to use that to try and then create something similar. And yeah, we'll go, um, go on from there. All right. So this is how the header looks. There's like um, a logo on the left. There's a search bar. There are, um, there are menu items there are a few like buttons and icons on this side the the setup that i have for woocommerce sorry the setup that i have for wordpress is not woocommerce based so we cannot do the cart but we're going to put a button over there to represent that so let's um let's start and see like how to set up a header so first and foremost make sure that you have logged into the back end of your website and then you hover on breakdance and then you choose headers so over here if you don't have any header at all it's going to be blank if you have a header probably you're going to see the header over here but we have no header so i'm just going to click on add header when you do that you have the opportunity to um to add your name the name of the header that you want so let's just call this header with nothing too serious and the location where do you want the header to be so you can choose everywhere or if you have like a specific place that you want the header to go and live at you can choose that specific place over here. You can choose a front page if you want this header to just be on the front page. If you want it to be for like a specific um single pages and other stuff like that, you can also do here. But we want this header everywhere. So let's just say here, everywhere, everywhere. After that, if you do have like conditions, if you want to set up that, oh, um, you want the header to show if uh let's say if let's say the browser um is one of let's say chrome browsers so that when you are on the chrome browser you see this header if you're on edge you see that header and whatever whatever all right you can also say that if you want it to be on a specific page so for specific page i can come here and i can see that i want it to be on landing page one so you do have like conditions um in here and there are like a whole lot of conditions that you can set so if that is something that you want to go into definitely you can check up the conditions here all right so let's remove that we don't need no condition and you can leave the priority with there and that's it so now we've created let's say a template for the header we haven't started building it all right so edit and break dance all right so when you do that you are going to see something like a blank canvas over here like all the stuff at the top so first thing first um let's click on add right when you click uh, when you click on add there are a few ways to go about building a header one way to do that is probably use the um the header builder module which is the header build this one so what this um this module comes with um, a lot of styling that you can use to make your your header building really um to make it fast if you don't want to like get into like uh, making yourself too dirty so this this you can use so all right so let's say we've added um this uh this module what we want to do is we want to try and create we want to try and create something something like this right so logo search and then the the listicles all right so first and foremost we want um our logo and our search to be a bit closer because that's how it looks like so what we're going to do is to click on add and then we are going to use a dev right so this dev is going to have an image so let's say let's type in image so and then the image after that we want a search bar so let's put in the search bar all right so that is that um i've selected the div and i'm going to make sure that it is side by side so clicking on layout in the horizontal i want to make sure that it is on the left and then for vertical align i want to make sure it is in the middle so that is good i'm going to give it a gap of let's say 30 pixels right probably um what they do have here is a bit larger but 30 pixels is fine i'm going to select my image and then 
Uh, for me, when I am building a header, I don't want the image to be bigger than 75 uh, pixels in width, right? So I'm just going to give it on 75 pixels in width. I think that um, it is uh, a better a better standard. If you want to do um, height, so let's say height 75 pixels is also not bad, right? 75 pixels on height is also not bad. So we can do that for like height and then we can just leave it like that. Um, the next thing that we want to do is we want the listicles, right? There are a few ways to do the listicles when it comes to breakdance. You can build your own listicles, which is you can click on add and then you can type in menu. So you do, so, uh, you do see two things. You have a menu builder and you do have your WP menu. The menu builder is specifically for building your own listicles. The WP menu is what you use to pull the menu from the appearance section when you go back to your back end. So let's, I don't know if I do have a list over here. So that, okay, I do have a list. So this list is being pulled from where? Let's go back to our back end. Right, so this list is being pulled from this menu that I have set up over here. So when you set up your menu here, you can pull them into your WP menu. The difference between this two, this one and the other menu. So let's click on add again and then type in menu, right? So the difference between these two is that this one can pull your menu from the back end, but this one cannot. With this, you have to like, you have to like put in your own list over here. And with this, you're also able to build a mega menu what a mega menu is like something that you do have like a huge drop down you can add like images i do think that you see something like this with images and other stuff like that we are not doing anything like that but if you do not want the images and other stuff you can still use this one to just build like links as you can see you have like menu links over here you can duplicate it and then put in these names so it depends on what like what you are trying to do all right, so I'm going to remove the menu builder one and I'm just going to use this one, right? So this, after that, we do want these icons and other stuff like that. So let's let's build some, some other icons. So for these icons to be together, as you can see, we will need to put them in their own dev. So I'm going to click on add and then I'm just going to click on dev. So it's going to be on the right hand side. All right, so in here, I want to put like some icons. As I said, we do not have a WooCommerce installed, so we kind of have all of these like cuts in it, but we're just going to put icons and buttons. All right, so over here, I'm just going to type in icon. So put one icon in here, and then I'm just going to type in button and then put a button over there. Okay, make sure when you click on it, it's going to select the parent div that houses the two items. So that being selected, I'm going to go to layout and the horizontal. I'm going to change the alignment. We can do center. We can do right. So whatever that you want. Um, so let's say, let's do, let's do in between, right? And then let's make sure that um, our line vertical is middle. And then we can give this one like um, 30 pixels like that. All right. So um, we are basically like done with probably the desktop. If we want to like style everything, we can style it to look the way that we want. If you want to change um, the search, we can also change the search to something more comfortable that we want. We can say the classic, which has this. So these are like things that you can do. All right. So this being done, the next thing is to make sure that this is also very responsive. So we are going to go over here, which are the responsive um, icon, click on it, select um, tablet. So when you click on select tablet, what you can see that this one is stacking. We do not want this menu to stack because it's going to look ugly. If if you do have a menu like this, it's definitely ugly. Like there's no two ways about that. So let's make sure that we've selected um, the header builder. You can click on it. You can click this empty space and then you can go to layout, right? Inside the layout, this is where you are going to tell the header builder not to stack because you do not want it to stack. All right. So stack vertically at just go down and click never. So in never, Making sure, making sure that your header never stacks. Your header will never stack. All right. So after that, we can make it even more responsive. So let's go to, let's say, um, tablet portrait. So as you can see, things are now breaking. There are a few things that you do not want on your mobile when it comes to like um, building 
your menu. What, like, what is the most important thing to you? That is something that you should ask yourself. Is the search bar important to you? If it is, you can leave it, right? If the search bar is that important to you, you can leave it. But mostly, you might want your image to stay. You might want the search bar not to show, right? So let's click on this search bar and then let's go to this cog icon over here, right? And then we are going to go to hide on break point. So the break point that we do not want this to show is the tablet, the mobile, and these two mobile items. So you can see it's going to gray it out, but we want to see it visually. So you can see that in the builder preview, we want to make sure that this is hidden so that we can see what we are doing. All right. All right. So now we do have something like this that looks like it's a bit um, clean, right? So that is good. We can like go on and remove this if we want, but it's not causing any friction here. So we can leave it like that. Mm -hmm. The next thing is to make sure that we go to the mobile. So as soon as you go to mobile, things are looking a bit better. So you do have your menu now changing to this, right? You can see that it has changed to this and you can make like a whole host of changes over here by selecting this. You can now go to your styling panel in the, in the mobile menu. You can change where you want this to start turning into this icon. So if we change this one to, let's say never, now it's going to look at something like this, but we do not want that uh, unless that is what you are going for. But if you're not going for something like this, you can just change this one to like phone and then landscape. So we do have something like this. Um, as I said, if you want to do a bit of styling, you can do everything from here. Like you do have your links, you do have your toggle, you do have like your background and other stuff. We are not going to get into that. I just want to show you how um, the basic stuff are. So this being done, what we want to do next is to go and then see on the other one. So here you can see that things are still like not um, coming out of place. They are not stacking. They are not looking ugly. So this can be like your basic stuff. This can be like where you want to start with, making sure that things are responsive and your menu is actually working. So if you do put like um, an image over here, let's see, do I have any icon here? Okay. I do have an icon here. So I do have this icon, but you can see it's pretty huge, right? So I'm going to go back to my phone and probably reduce this to like um, height is to like probably 45. And, and that is cool. 45 is cool. You do not want like something you do see like a menu and then the logo is pretty huge. You do not want that. I'm telling you, it makes your design look amateurish unless you, you, you've put a lot of thought into it and it doesn't look out of place. There are menus that are huge that um complement the design that you have there are menus that are huge that do not complement the design that you have it just looks tacky it looks like you don't know what you're doing so make sure like you, you understand what the whole scenario is um one thing that i can also um share with you is that as you can see most of the time you do not want these icon uh this um hamburger icon to be in the middle it doesn't look professional right one way that you can fix that is we can select it over here as you can see and we are going to change the order of the items over here we are going to put this image in the middle we're going to put this one on the right and then we're going to move these items to the left to do that we can use something in flexbox called order so let's um when the menu item is selected i am going to come down here to the search bar and i'm going to type in order so for order, nothing, is, nothing over here um, corresponds to what I'm looking for. It is uh, in the advanced settings. So I'm just going to click on this cog icon and it's going to pull this order out. So wrapper, layout, advanced, flex, and then child. I'm going to change this one to number three because that is what I want it to be. All right. Um, the next thing I want to do is that I want this one to be in the middle. So it's going to be number two. So let's select the image come down over here and then type in other and then in here i am going to make it number two nothing is going to change but that is fine the next thing that we want to do is we want to select this one which has the icon and the button and i'm going to put in order and i'm going to make sure that this is number one something didn't work but i'm going to find out all right so that Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know why it didn't work. Um, so let's go to modify and I'm going to remove this. I have to select the div that houses it. 
so that div being selected i'm going to type in order again and then click on this cog icon and then i'm going to put in number two so now you can see that this one comes into the middle and then you do have this on the right hand side it is not centered so if you do want this one to be on the on the left hand side you can also do that but this one um this being on the right hand side uh it is much more simpler to get to rather than you leaving it in the middle all right um as i said this is just um a basic overview of how the header thing is all about and as i said there are a few like fractions over here but this is like a little bit of an overview of it you can go into like we can get into like styling and other stuff like that which is going to take a bit of time to get into but hey this is um part one of some basics that probably i should be doing um this is for the header how to make sure that it is responsive how to make sure that things look better for you all right name is nyakon this is obi studios um there's a video on breakdance header i'm gonna catch you on the next one